I left off Supercross season on a good note. All I can do is just build on from there. And the expectations, I definitely have a lot of expectations for myself on personal goals. And I feel that I've done a lot of work just really to go racing and have fun and, and enjoy what happens. Take the bull by the horn. Training with Alden is, is so far has been great. You know, for me, I haven't been here long enough. I know it's, everything is about hard work, and so far it's been going very well for me. There's definitely good days and there's definitely days that are really tough and you have to dig deep, but I feel like the hard days are the days that they are most important. So he has a definitely good background to, for all his persons he's dealt with as one championship. So that's why I'm happy to be a part of it. And let's see what we can do. I've always wanted to train with Alden and, and I always see kind of have really good relationships with all the riders that are here now. So for me, the change didn't didn't feel like it was a crazy change. Just like, just I just felt like it was just one of the things that I just wanted to check off my bucket list and finally to get the opportunity, it's been going well. And we've had a really, really good off season. So we're a few weeks out from the season opener and I'm excited. be back Anaheim like the original self it's definitely a lot of hype around and it's it's obviously nerve-wracking it's like one of those races that you, it's like you're so rattled up and nerves I feel like you're not really your true self because there's so much pressure and stuff going and the guy that whoever eliminates all the pressure and just goes out there and have fun is usually the guy that actually does well but for me I feel that I'm not going in with a lot of pressure there's not a lot of I feel like there's not a lot of expectations. The only pressure I can put on is myself, so I'm just gonna go out there and have fun and do what I do best, and that's just race dirt bike. Pops, he's still like, I got to make sure we, we got to stay on point. And uh, he definitely checks me here and there every now and then. But majority of the time, he's kind of like, hey, we're just happy here to be at the race. And he said he's got a horse in the dog fight. That's all he cares about. <laughs> that's all he cares about. So, hey, that's, that's, what, um, that's what it's all about. I know this is a lot of information everybody's giving you. You see how much further ahead Rick is from you? So think if you both start at the exact same time and take off, who's going to be in front? Like, 
that I know you you're uncomfortable being that close because you're afraid of flinching against the gate but it's like I told you the other day like you only watch your gate A1, uh, I felt like Malcolm in the main did not produce what he's capable of. I mean, yeah, the starts, connecting with obviously Marvin, all of that stuff didn't uh, didn't help the setup. So it made for a really, really tough uh, initial race. Going to the week now, I'm just covering our bases, uh, nothing major, couple of tweaks here, and then really focusing on starts, as I said, so that we can hopefully put ourselves and, and Malcolm be in a better position uh, at this next race. Good, you didn't go right. Yeah. I think it's more just the vibe around the whole team and everybody's happy. It seems like everybody wants to be here. Everybody wants the best for themselves. I think the, one of the coolest things about it is like, even when one rider isn't feeling that good that day, I feel like we're all there to support whoever it is and bring them up. You know what I mean? Like we're willing to get down on the ground and sweat with you. Like, and I think that's one of the coolest things that I haven't had in my in my career that another teammate would do. And I, I honestly feel like that's the reason why like everybody's elevated. Uh, so, Malcolm, uh, you just got your fast lap taken away. What? Oh yeah. Malcolm, did you jump on the? You jump on red cross bike? No. You just got your fast lap taken away. So what am I? It's too far. You're no, going, you're, at where? You're going to the line, P12. No way. Hey, you, where? I didn't see it across the line. When Kenny went down, you doubled the woods or something. No, I didn't. It doesn't Are you serious? No, they need, it. they need to give it back. <laughs> <laughs> you got to Gonna kind of stress me out, P12 on the heat race? That's bad, dude. <laughs> you see how they do me like this? You're gonna stress me out. I'm over here about to like go downstairs and be like, yo, <laughs> you need to do something. I don't ever see you in a crossbar. <laughs> I feel like my fan base is people have always followed me my entire career. And of course, like once I won my first race, and I would say back in 2014 and 15, that's what really started to take over. Honestly, I, I, I think my fan base is, is amazing. I, I feel like my fans love me. For me, we live for fans. You know, without fans, there is no Supercross. So to have the fans be there and seeing the kids, you know, wearing like your shirt and stuff, like, that's what you live for, you know? That's what motivates you, and that's what makes us want to be better. I saw your emotion hey. on that video. Are you, are you on it? tonight? Oh yeah, that's tonight. Right. We're podium tonight. Good luck tonight, man. Thank you, guys. All right, good night. Hey, good luck. Hey. You still want to take it? No, 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 that was good. That's one you wrote earlier. I know that's good. This one's new, I don't know.
not nervous. There's nothing, when I throw my leg on a motorcycle, I believe that I'm the best there is and there is nobody better than me and I know I done it. That, that's the God him and truth. That's how I believe because I that never had an echo. No, it's, it, no, and that's what I'm saying. So I'm trying to carry that in the race and I'm, I'm racing fine. It's just you're at the gate, your expectation is to win. That's no, no it's buts about it. And you're not gonna accept anything less than that. What if I get fifth or seventh or whatever? You know, I should be upset because if you didn't hit that box, you're not popping that champagne, you should be a little upset because that just means you care. I know for a fact I'm way better than a fifth place. Uh, no. or, or two, Inside? two single inside, but where do you do after that? Because when you go roll two, three out, three single. Three out. Three single. Uh, two, three. So everybody's going to be three into the left, right? Yeah. yeah. If you need to make an aggressive pass, you can three that way yeah. and then slam on the brakes and just stop them right at the beginning of the single. Yeah. So yeah. maybe one lap or two laps in practice, roll and double and just see what yeah. that rhythm is, yeah. you know? When I walk the track, I'm like, Man, these whoops look big, you know. I'm like, dang, but you know, but then I'm like, this is gonna be a hot spot for me. So everybody's kind of like looking in the wolves, like, dang, they look big. And I'd be like, yeah, they look big. But I'm like, yeah, it's my passing line. So I don't know. I just try. I just have fun, man. So far, the day is going going well. So I feel like San Diego is treating us well. It's all about just. You know, executing every practice, try to uh, limit the mistakes, and I feel like tonight's gonna be one of those uh, nights where it's all about the start and, and whoever can make the least amount of mistakes. So, but that's what uh, racing's all about, but I'm excited. You breathe in? Yeah, I, I, dude, honestly, I felt that's like I, I breathing wise, I felt amazing, like legitimate. I was like, oh, I got those dudes, and my arm was tight halfway, and I'm like, I don't know, like, okay, whatever, push through it. And it just got to a point where I went to go try to reach for the clutch to just slip before the finish line, and I couldn't, I could not let go of the like handlebar. Your, your hands, I, they're I locked not, on. They're like locked, that. locked on the handlebar. Yeah. I could not, like, put in that situation and having to ride through that yep. and still, still not, be, and still be in the race, yeah. still. Yeah. I, that's good. I'll take that because yeah. that's what race is. That's a race. It's all right. We're we all keep right. moving forward. Keep moving forward. Yeah, dude. Working with Malcolm, what's what's the thing that stands out most to you? I mean, I think that's pretty easy as a steward. I've always wanted to be a professional motocross racer, but I never thought I would get to this point, you know, because you're a kid and you're like, man, I want to be one of them, but you, there's so many steps in life that you have to take to get to this point. So, of course, watching my brother being successful over the years, I didn't think I was like gonna be successful. Like, you know, I was just like, oh, I'm not sure, I'm not sure. And sure enough, next thing you know, here I am. It's like a feeling that you can't explain. It's like an actual dream that actually came true. And, and man, I, I, I came, I'm one of the, I'm one of the guys that fans look up to, you know? So I think that's like one of the coolest things for me. The goal is, you know, win a championship. Every year you shoot for it, but I can't sit here and say it ain't doable because everything's been such a toss up now. And, and I feel like the way the season has already started off, it's it's gonna be uh, who's the most consistent. And no matter if it's on the box, top five, everybody's gonna have a bad race. There's always gonna be a throwaway race. So if we can manage to make sure that we stay in it all the way through, we'll be in the dogfight at the end.
I feel like the number one thing that any athlete that you always got to remember is why are you doing this? And you, it's not because of the money, it's because when you're a little kid and you play in the sandbox and you watch somebody on TV, it was fun. And that's, a, that's honestly one of the biggest things that I feel like some athletes deal with in their lifetime is because you have to remind yourself in the times are good, the times are bad, you got to realize that you're doing this because it's fun, not because it pays the bills. And once you, you got to separate that, I feel like no matter what I've done, no matter what I do, good, bad, whatever, it's always fun to me. And I feel like my whole, the way I think about things has changed the way how I race and how I look at life. It was a good day today. That's my best result so far in the 450 class. So it's cool, man. It's finally, finally one of those situations where you, you're, you're dreaming. You're like, oh, thank gosh, like I finally got, you know, something. So I feel good, and let's keep the ball rolling. Let's just keep this thing rolling, ready to go to A3. And hey, we're here to race, baby. We're gonna. I'm gonna say it again. We're still in a dogfight. <laughs>